Welcome to this week's show. We will take a look back at that big victory over the California Golden Bears down in Berkeley. Preview next week's homecoming game against Washington State. Have a couple of profiles and a lot more to talk about on this show. In fact, we've got so many highlights, so we have to really kind of rush to get them all in today, Coach. It was a, a great victory for your team. You went down to Cal. You remain undefeated on the road this year. I think you've won five straight road games overall. And offense, defense, and the special teams all played big factors in this game. No question. Uh, we played well in all aspects. I think we started slowly offensively. Certainly, if you take the first quarter out of it, though, we gathered steam. Played very well in the second and third quarters and had a chance to mop up in the fourth. I think the defense played extremely well early in the game, holding, keeping Cal out of the end zone, holding them to field goals. Uh, we got a little sloppy as we got tired later in the game, and uh, you know they had nothing to lose and were taking some shots and, and got free on some uh, some contained situations that we didn't do a good job of. Special teams, I think, played better, and uh, we had better coverage and uh, no mistakes. And again, I, I was very happy with the effort, certainly to go on the road and win a football game in the Pac-10 is very important. It's a stretch run for us, and we've talked about that, that it, it all starts now and every game's important. That was a great win for us. Really was a crusade game for Cal as well. I mean, they had struggled, yet they had played well against USC and not too bad against Arizona. Uh, early in the ball game, your offense did struggle. Cal had great field position in that first quarter, and your defense limited Cal to only field goal attempts, and I thought that was critical early in the game. No question. I mean, we, again, we had made some mistakes, and we were also not hitting on all cylinders. We get the big turnover on the uh, kickoff return for us, and, and uh, our defense stepped up. I mean, that, and that's what we talked about. You know, we have not held them out of the end zone as well early on in some turnover situations, and I think that was a difference in some of the games. But certainly this one, the defense stepped up, did a great job. And, and I don't know if you understand how much it is to hold a team out of the end zone, force them to get that field goal. That, that takes away a lot of the momentum they may have generated. Offensively, your offensive line has to be given a great deal of credit for the numbers that Ricky Whittle and Tony Graziani put on the board. Uh, Cal came in as the number one team in the league, I believe, in sacking the opposing quarterback, and they had only one in this game, and you also established a great running attack. That's correct. Whenever you do that, uh, get 200 and 200 you know, on the ground and in the air, your offensive line is doing a great job. We had talked about that the whole key to this game was controlling the line of scrimmage. Our offensive line being able to dictate terms to their defense so we didn't have to throw when they wanted us to. We kept them off balance. We moved the pocket. We got great protection. We got a good running game going. And certainly on the flip side of the ball, too, the defensive line doing it, uh, not allowing them to run the ball was a big factor in this game. Cal ended up with minus one yards in the rushing department. We'll get to the highlights momentarily. A lot to show this afternoon. But first, the Pac-10 scoreboard as things really begin to heat up in the conference race. The Ducks will host Washington State next week. The Cougars trailed 26 to nothing in the third quarter against USC, but fought back, never gave up, actually had the ball deep in SC territory as the game ended. Uh, we'll have more on the Cougs later on in the program. UCLA against Arizona, a defensive struggle as both teams really had a rough time moving the football. UCLA, they're starting to come on a little bit, comes up with a victory over the Cats. Washington, a big victory at Stanford, handing the Cardinal their first loss of the year. And in a non-conference game in Tempe, Arizona State gets the victory over BYU. Let's go to the first quarter of highlights. The Ducks taking on the Cal Bears. A warm day down in Berkeley. Clear skies, ideal for spectators and fans. Maybe a little warm early for the players. A little warm, but very nice temperature. I think it ended up being a great uh, conditions for the game. So you start the ball at the, deep in your own territories. You get the first possession. Get a first down out to the tight ends who were an integral part in your game plan. We run a throwback here uh, to Blake Spence, and we've thrown more two receiver routes onside. We sprint, we come back to him. He's one on one with the safety, makes a nice catch, and a big, again, first first down of the game for the offense. Always very, very important. He got us out, got us some field position initially. Start to move the ball here on a third and seven. Looks like you're going to get another first down, but the ball is stripped away from Kristen McLemore, and Cal recovers. Chris didn't ever get the handle really on that football, and his, his wrist is bothering. That's no excuse. We've got to uh, continue to maintain possession of that football. Nice play by Jeremy Asher here in the ensuing series. Coming off, beat the block on the outside, makes a tackle. And again, I, we've talked a lot about uh, Jeremy's playing so consistent this year, making big plays, but also making the little plays every game that count. So that is a loss of three yards. Third down and five for the Bears, their first opportunity in scoring position. They run a little screen, and we do a nice job. Derek Barnes there read the screen very well, meets him in the backfield. And again, we had talked a lot about it. I think our defensive game plan was very, very good. We knew that they liked the screen from certain formations, and I think our guys keyed into that very well. 
So you force a long field goal by Long Well, young man from Bend, Oregon. He's got plenty of leg. He's having, yeah, he's having a much better year this year. He made those, and again, we didn't expect, we thought they were going to punt actually there because of the long distance. He comes through with a big, big field goal. So you get the football back and a nice kickoff return by Ricky. Yeah, and it probably could have little bit been a little bit better. We don't get the wedge moving quite as soon as we'd like, uh, but we do get good field position, and Ricky is always going to make some yards on his own there, too. So, unfortunately, couldn't move it. Cal gets it back, and your defense again comes up big. There's a big sack by Jeremy, uh, forced out of the pocket by Reggie Jordan. Jeremy's coming on the dog outside. You see from this angle, the interior tackle's holding it, forcing him out of the pocket. Jeremy comes off the block and gets a big sack, and again, uh, Kenny Wheaton is there. Good coverage down the field and great pressure. Again, though, the offense can't move it. They have to punt it back. Cal, they can't move it either. Derek Barnes, we have a TE on the on the weak side. You can see uh, BJ holds the guy there, gets a great job of opening the lane. Derek comes untouched, clean, and the quarterback's got nowhere to go. Big, big sack and moves him way back out of field goal range. So now you finally get it going. It's near the end of the first quarter, less than two minutes to go in the quarter. Well, if Tony had not been real sharp on some of the movement stuff, he got a chance to throw some pocket passes like this little screen to Ricky, and Ricky does a lot with it after the catch. Does a nice job. We're faking the draw inside to, to win, play we scored on last week. Uh, they have to respect that. Nice throw on stride to Ricky. Gets a good block from Bob Baldwin right there, and we're down the field. And Ricky, again, makes some yards on his own. So that is a gain of 11, a first down out to the 38. We've got what we call a force play. Nice blocking by Eric Wynn off guard uh, again we're influencing them there and, and using that against them in the sense of their defensive line they're very aggressive nice job here play action pass uh, put in three receivers and we catch Christian McLemore over the middle see the play fake inside holds the linebackers and we get Chris right down the middle field they're in a two deep situation that's the vulnerable part of that defensive secondary so big first down gain of 19 after an incompletion, second down and 10. Great catch here by Chris. This is a super catch, the kind of that we're come to expect from him. One-on-one -on -one situation, a quick three-step drop. Watch Graz puts this one out, leads him a little bit too much, but again, great extension and, co and concentration to make this catch. Kind of in a little bit of a hurry-up offense here, kind of caught Cal off balance. Right now we get into the second quarter highlights with Cal leading three to nothing, but right away, the Ducks get on the board. This is a culmination of a first period drive, and they finish it off here. Get the ball to Dameron Ricketts, and he makes a nice move. Unfortunately, stepped out of bounds right there, but again, trying to get him involved. We're in a little motion play. This is a tackle trap. You see Paul Wiggins pulling. A great job by Ricky. Oh, just a great effort. Run over the guy, extend the ball into the end zone. That's a, that's a picture-perfect kind of play and a great finish. Blocked by David Weber there, and then Ricky gets the last three on his own. Yeah, runs right over the guy. That's Needed all great five. effort. Needed That's all five nine of that. He friend. did. He did. Great effort and great blocking. A nice conversion by Josh. He was struggling with the grass a little bit early. Josh Smith had trouble warming up. That it's a little higher than we'd like it or used to. Does a nice job on this pooch kick though. We get better coverage. We worked on several different ideas on that kickoff team, and again, this one seemed to give us good opportunity to cover the kick. So Cal with the ball, they trail 7-3. A big play here to the tight end, Gonzalez. Big play. We're in a two-deep situation. We need to jam him coming off the line. He got loose, and the quarterback got him the ball very quickly. He's a great tight end. He runs very well. He's also a basketball player for the Bears. Great athlete. This is a coverage sack right here, and unfortunately, the ball bounces out right back to the quarterback. Great pressure, and again, uh, this is a long time here to hold the ball. That's a great coverage type of situation. We're only rushing four men trying to get to him. You see Derek Barnes continuing to fight. Finally force him up into the pocket. There's Jeremy there. We get a second guy coming in, bats the ball out, but it bounces right back to him. So it uh, goes as a sack, but the, the Bears, the big thing is forced to attempt a field goal. And even though it is good, I mean, your team stopped him, what was it, the first and goal from the nine? Yes, I, again, we talk about that. That's the role of the defense, and that's what we've expected and, and come to expect from Dan Green. It was a great effort right there. So the defense goes to the bench for one play, and they've got to come out because, unfortunately, Ricky coughs it up. Yeah, and he misread that. If he had stayed outside, I think he had a great lane to run. He didn't see that guy come, went to cut back, got hit in the ball, right on the ball. They try a reverse, which uh, somebody asked me if it was a pass. I don't think so. They were blocking downfield real hard, and I think he just misplayed it, dropped it, fortunately for us. So it is a loss of 10. 
Forces Cal into a passing situation. Barnes can't get much, and there's Jeremy again. Jeremy again coming off. Uh, Dez forced him out of the pocket. Jeremy sort of playing a, a center fielder there and watching for it. They get a little quick pass here. Jeremy again, uh, just, just a great effort. I tell you what, he's a great football player doing everything we ask of him. Forced him to kick another field goal, and the guy couldn't miss that day. I'll tell you what. Well, that drive for Cal was minus two yards. So that shows you what a, a great job the defense did to keep your offense you know, within a score of taking the lead. Yeah, little screen here to Rick. Nice job. He, he just lets the blockers go and just heads up, saw some open field inside, took it that way. Little hot pass here. Again, great touch by Graz. Great comeback block by Josh Wilcox. And again, big first down. This is a third and seven play. Again, you can see they're coming. This guy's untouched. Forces just to throw hot. Ricky's the hot outlet or, hot, or safety valve. And again, Josh comes back, a punishing block there. And Ricky gets over the, through the tackler, again, for the necessary yardage for the first down. So it's first and 10. Eric Wynn gets a call on what we call the under force, following Paul Wiggins. Nice gain inside. Another third down play. This one's third and one after you went for the home run ball and didn't get it. Uh, this is a zone play inside. Ricky, just great instinct, great running. Bounces it outside, gets some big yardage. You sort of see him read this. Bounces it twice. The hole is up inside. He can run to daylight on this play, and he does so. Good job by Blake Spence there out of front. So gain of 13, first down at the Cal, 38. Run a little sweep play, our crash sweep. Ricky runs through a tackle there. Again, almost gone. One guy gets him at the end. And again, this is a nice job of blocking up there. We lose a guy inside, but great block there. Uh, at the point of attack, I think it was Blake Spence. Nice job. I think Bob, no, that's our center. That's Mark Gray coming out there. At this point, you've got a hot back. In other words, he is feeling good. He's running good. You just keep with him. Keep with him. Stay with him. This is a counter play. And again, nice blocking. Uh, great effort. Great run by Rick. Their, their ends were coming up the field so hard, we had a, a good opportunity to kick them out and run back up inside. Great blocking inside to hold the point of attack. You can see the Wigan on the tackle coming on the counter play. Ricky gets through to the secondary end touch and makes a cut. Nice job there, pulls through a tackle. Uh, he, he has had a career day, it seems like, every year against Cal, but, and he wasn't going to let this one go without getting another one. <laughs> nice little play here. This is our throwback screen off of the Bob Sweep Series. Great acceleration there. I thought uh, the guy had a chance to catch Josh, but he's faster than people think. He does a nice job. We sell the play coming out. Our guard peels back to protect. Browse rolls over the top, and uh, Josh comes all the way back through the line of scrimmage. We've got our tackle and center back there, Mark Gregg, Paul Wiggins, and again, nice job by the receiver, too. I think it was Dameron Ricketts taking the corner out and then blocking him all the way. So you go for two in this situation. Go for two. We've called a, a throw back to the quarterback. We realize it's covered. Great play by Kevin Parker. Great acceleration and great understanding. They covered. He takes off and goes. Nice play. Good heads up play. See the blocking. Looks back. Notice that Graz is covered. Sees an open there, just reacts to it, and then beats him to the corner of the end zone. Just a nice job. Nice for him, too, because he's from the Oakland area. A lot of hometowns fans were there to see him play. Indeed. So that gives you a six-point lead, 15-9. This is a great anticipation. Kenny Wheaton, we know they threw a lot of timing routes, and, and uh, Pat Barnes just threw it over there. Kenny was right in the right place, takes it down the field. This is good because this gave us a chance to get something again and add, take away some of their momentum. They had good field position here. Kenny goes right down the field and, and got a little hamstring, so he didn't try to make any moves. He just got out of bounds, saved time for us, get the offense back on the field. So about a minute and a half to play in the second quarter. And we wanted to run some time off the clock, ran the ball early. Ricky does a great job. We'll get outside on the stretch play, keeps the ball inbounds because we wanted to work the clock down. We get a score and hopefully not give them too much time. Nice job here. Great blocking. You just see it develop here. Again, there's Kristen McLemore. Nice block. Dameron Ricketts blocking on his guy. Ricky gets to the outside. And again, smart back here at this point. We knew we had plenty of time. Working that clock a little bit. Stayed inbound. A gain of 29. Ended up uh, that we didn't get a chance. We get a field goal out of Josh. Great job. Nice kick. So the field goal is good, and that is the halftime score. All right, at the half, Oregon leads California uh, by one score, and things uh, really start to get exciting here in the third quarter as the Oregon offense just gets into high gear and the Bears can't do much about it. Let's pick up the third quarter highlights. California has the ball. 
I don't think they got a first down in the third quarter. I think they only ran about nine offensive plays. Ronnie Gibson, we were in a cover seven, which is a two deep look. He played that great. In fact, I'd love to see him get this one. This is a fake uh, screen and go that we got hurt on against Illinois. We do a great job. Lamont Woods down the field, and great pressure gets to him, but that was good heads up play because they had run the screen, were prepared for it a lot, and uh, to see to come out of that, defend the deep pass off is great, and we get pressure there. You see Des Bird, he steps inside him. Reggie Jordan coming from the backside, and. Uh, I would want to say, I'm not sure who was there underneath. It might have been Derek Barnes. Uh, those guys did a nice job. Here's a nice little, again, touch screen to Ricky. Our dual screen idea. Great blocking out front. Ricky gets a big first down. So it's a ball at the Cal 46. Now we're trying to work the ball a little bit. We sort of pick them apart a little bit. On the weak side, we got our two tight ends are running in and out, little routes. Nice option here. This is a big third down play. I think we got a great spot, to be honest with you, from the officials. That was a big third down conversion right there. You were sensational on third down, 10 of 15. 10 of 15, great job, I think nice job of calling the game by our offensive people, great game plan. Blake Spence dragging people right there, doing a nice job. So Spence with the reception here, and uh, look, you get about three or four more yards just on the brute strength. He, he's, we gotta get him the ball more. Those two tight ends have done a great job for us. So on first and 10 from the Cal, 19. This is uh, the counter, tackle counter again to Ricky. Does a nice job, follows the blocking. Again, they were very aggressive up front and susceptible to the trap plays, so we utilized it. Here is uh, our play of the day, by the way. This is a nice job, throwback screen. Uh, Josh does a nice job, gets airborne for the touchdown. And as you mentioned, the play of the day, and uh, let's see how that one worked. One of the things that I want to show you was the name of this play, which is sort of difficult. Right tandem tote, Z7, 870. Tight screen right. It was obviously a card call. We have a trouble with that one. But what it is is we're showing motion coming or action coming over this way with our two wide receivers set here. We sprint over the top. Uh, our interior three guys set up and go back and do the screen. Josh back blocks on that backside for two counts. He and the tackle block solid. Slip this guy, step over. Then he follows his guys into the end zone. So it's a throwback screen off of a movement play. And uh, we do a nice job with it. They want to show it again. Let's take a look and see. From down low this time, taking into the trenches. Again, seeing Tony, that action will tend to pull the defense with you. You can see our guard slipping back out the back side. There's Tossi in front. Uh, Josh does a nice job of accelerating past the one would-be tackler and then goes airborne over the other, lands in the end zone. Great, effort, great job, great effort. One of three touchdowns on the day for the junior from Junction City. So the point after, and now you lead by 15 points. It is 24 to 9. We're doing a nice job. I, I think the, the second and third quarter certainly were real good quarters for us. Have not been all year. We've been a better first quarter team, but again, we started to pick it up, defensive intensity, and certainly offensive execution. Good play here by Reggie Jordan, the outside linebacker. Did a nice job. We stemmed on them late here, I think, and, and caught them running into really what became the strength of the defense. We did a nice job. Third and seven. Great. This is a, a potential screen well played by Dante Lewis and Lamont Woods. They're right there, right on top of them. So three and out for Cal. We come back, uh, that same play action pass. This time we take the out to Pat Johnson on the outside. Uh, come back with the counter play again. Nice job of footwork. Uh, by Paul Wiggins to get through, and again, Ricky almost breaks this. One guy sort of gets him, loses his balance. Great job. Paul's there to pick him up. He wants him to get to 150 yards. You know that. We'll hear about that later in the program. Looks like he's trying to pick Paul's pocket here. He's just holding on, waiting, waiting. That's a great job of following that block, setting up. And again, great job by Paul Wiggins getting through that mess initially to be able to throw the block down the field. Good pickup of 18 yards. Second down and six when we pick it up. Play action here, a uh, little scary right here. Great job, this ball's flicked up in there. Tony's hit, great effort by Eric. When he was going down the block, came back off when he saw the ball float up in the air and makes a great catch. Run the option again, nice job by Tony. Gets down, gets five plus yards, and he's done a great job, very instinctive with that play. Running the fake reverse down here off the bob. Ricky does a nice job, gets the ball down in there. And again, we, we used this play earlier in the year, came back to it a little bit today. On a third down situation, a third and short draws, I think was a little bit greedy here, had Ricky out there, but again, if you have a chance to run it in as opposed to throwing it, 
take the chances, maybe drop him in and make the pass. Good play fake. He's got an option here to run pass. He's got Ricky right there. I'm not sure if he had blinders on, but uh, he gets in the end zone. It's a good thing because I'd have yelled at him otherwise. That's the old Woody Hayes philosophy. When you throw it, three things can happen. Two of them are bad. Two so of them are bad. He, he decides to keep it. The point after is good. It's 31 to 9. Like a similar score from a couple of years ago, and everybody's excited, the young and the old, dressed in green and yellow. Well, this was exciting, too. This was supposed to be a squib kick. Uh, we changed kickers at halftime, let Matt Brewer do the kicking off, and he did a nice, he got his foot into that one. He's got a leg, it's just somewhat inconsistent. Here, uh, Reggie Jordan comes off the backside. They have a play-action pass, and Reggie's too quick for their guard coming back to pull, and uh, just gets a, a great sack. Big play early. He's back there just about the time Barnes sets up, and the Jordan clan was uh, very happy with that play, as you can see. Well, yes, we've, sir. We've got a lot of players from the California area, a lot from Northern California. It's great for us to go down and get a win down there in their homeland. They come back with a big play. 44 is a Gonzalez is a great tight end. Well, as they say, I've been there, done it as far as Oregon going to California. Nice big lead going into the fourth quarter, and uh, here come the Bears. It gets a little interesting, but uh, this time, a different outcome. This is a fourth and two to start the fourth quarter. Big play. Great play there by B.J. Played, uh, played off the block and kept his leverage for the sweep play. Got a good push from Jeremy there, sort of fills and takes on one of the blockers. And then uh, he and Mark Schmidt combine on the backside. Uh, B.J. make a big, big play. That fourth and two, I think, and they didn't make it sort of sealed their fate. Well, this, if that didn't, this did. Right away, boom, strike, touchdown. We had uh, this similar play we've run. It's a dive pass, all go, and we thought by the alignment initially that nobody was covering Josh, and it, it came to be true. The play action held the backers. He goes down the field uncovered behind. I, the only thing is the ball hung in the air. It was just, all right, just make nice and easy catch, and he does a great job with it. So the point after, and... Uh, and a nice big lead, 38 to 9. No lead is enough, though. <laughs> we always we talked about that before the game and at halftime. And uh, unfortunately, we get a play here that we, we should have had a sack. We lose contain. Uh, quarterback does a nice job of rolling. They great catch down there, well covered. But again, you can't, it's hard to cover people that long. He makes a great play, and then immediately they come right back on the slant. They get a touchdown, and it didn't take much time, and uh, it's all of a sudden 38-17 to 17 as they also connect on the two-point conversion. Yeah, they do a nice job, and we had talked about substituting prior to that series and decided to keep most of our first-team people in the game. We gave some people a breather, a blow, and uh, unfortunately didn't get a first down. We had to give them the ball back. Yeah, it was three and out, and here goes Barnes again running around. Get a push in the back there that they don't call. There are a couple of holds also during the, that time that they did not call. But when things start getting wild and woolly, that official back there, it's hard for him to see. And then they, uh, again, a scramble play. That looked like a little hold on yeah, Schmitty there. it was. There was some stretching of the clock going on. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, we can't. it's hard to cover that long. And when they start to scramble, it distorts your zone coverages. And uh, we lose them, and they score. So now what's going through your head here, 38-24? Well, I was, you know, a little frustrated. At that point, though, I said, hey, let's settle down. Let's put a drive together, get the ball out of here, get our defense off the field, let them rest a little bit. Our defensive line got very tired. So we come back, we get a big play on the screen pass to Ricky. This is play pass flow screen. Again, play we've had for a long, long time. Haven't used it that much this year. Nice time for it. Good job by David Weber getting the onside guy down, and you can see good blocking there. I thought this one had a chance to score. I think, again, I'll tell you what, Ricky was getting tired a little bit near the end of the game. He had a big, big day, carrying the ball a lot, a lot of pass receptions, and uh, but he did a great job. Came through with us, got some big, big plays when we needed it. Well, that was a big play for field position, and this is another one for field position, running a little time off the clock, gain of 15. And I, I, he could have got more yards. He wanted to make sure he did not go out of bounds. That was the play that comes off of that pass play we ran earlier. It's the slice play. It's sort of a, a draw to the tailback. And again, he does a nice job. Good block by Eric Wynn. Nice move by Ricky to make the first guy miss. And then he's going to not go out of bounds. He didn't want to stop that clock, so he went down easy. You have to punt it. You punt it into the end zone. So Cal gets his first and 10 at the 20. Then they get called on an illegal block. So they're backed up deep. Brian Collins picks it off. Brian, we, we should have had a couple of pass breakups. Brian Collins played this very well. He was more aggressive at the safety position. We've been allowing some things down the middle of the field. We get pressure. Quarterback puts it up uh, a little bit too much on it, and Brian 
comes in very aggressively, nice catch as a high point, and then takes off for the end zone. I gave him a bad time, said he could have gotten there, but he does a nice job of running, and he moves the pile when he gets down there inside. And the Cal quarterback Barnes also called for a personal foul, so you move it uh, inside the two. And again, we get the jump play. Uh, Ricky goes over the top, Eric Wynn leading. Nice job, and again, a good job. We, the defense set it up with a great play, the interception, the pressure, and then offense can put it in one play. And I think it, that helped relax us a little bit. Yeah, I think with this score here and the point after, uh, you know, a lot of those demons have disappeared as far as the Ducks are concerned. There it is. You see the big 21-point lead with under five to go. Well, it, it took the crowd out of the game a little bit. Then this, we decided to spy Derek Barnes. Uh, we had been getting losing contain with the four-man four rush. We decided we would go with a three-man rush and drop him out. A spy technique, and he, I, the quarterback didn't see him. He's got great hands. He makes a great catch there, which again helps give us the ball back, uh, take away any momentum they thought they had. Boy, it's nice to see uh, this group of guys, David Crump leading the way, put the ball in the end zone. Yes, and David uh, runs hard, he's quick. Uh, he's an exciting guy to watch. Yeah, nice job here, Chris Anderson. Uh, throw from Ryan Perry Smith. That connection worked last week also, and I'm glad to see those guys not, not just getting in the game, but continuing to move the football. We have a little play over the middle. He's hit it wide open. Makes uh, some yards after the catch, and, and we're moving the ball down the field, keeping it away from Cal, which is important at this point in the game. David Crump on that same slice play. Keeps the legs driving, does a nice job, and tell you what, he's going to break one here soon. Counter play again, Crump gets a chance here. Just, just great line surge there, too. He got a full head of steam going into the secondary, which a back always loves, because now he can deliver a blow as opposed to getting the blow to deliver to him. Rob Williams pulling, David Weber pulling. You can see him get going here. Put his head down, drive through, carry that pile. We get some other people coming up to help. We only had one fullback in this game to Eric Wynn, so mm -hmm. he did a great job. We decided to give him the ball, and he gets a nice job. Gets his head down, he gets in that end zone, breaks the plane, and I was happy for him. That's two touchdowns in two games now. He's going to want the ball a little bit more <laughs> often, and that's okay. Great drive. Look, look, you know, we take that guy back the right side of our line. Rob Williams, Dave Weber, drive him deep in the end zone, give him a chance just to almost go in untouched. Nice job. So attack on the uh, point after. Cal does get one final score, but... The bottom number, after the Ducks celebrate a little bit, the Graziani and the guys from that northern California area. Well, a lot Those young guys always want to see that camera lens, don't they? <laughs> it's a kind of, from here on out, it's kind of elimination type games. You need to keep winning, don't you? It's very important. Washington State's always been a tough team for us. It's always a great game, but we really, we need this one. We take them one game at a time.